Hello, Craig's to here, Brick Stage Pass. Welcome back to my channel and another episode of building a medieval castle town in Lego. And this is episode number nine. So let's get into it. <laughs> So I had the sorceress tower in the bottom left of my tower originally and um, yeah I just didn't want to put it there I felt it needed to be away from the, the town and I needed something else and I just thought these Fright Knight black dragons would look good as like obsidian uh, dragon glass statues flanking the door of of a castle and this led me to thinking I could do something with the dragon knights and like they have a dragon forge within the town that's fueled by like a secret hidden dragon um sort of my storyline all, all the dragons have, have have been gone for a while but they've they've clearly still got one and they've got a little one little stronghold left and they're, they're living in the town and they've got their own um keep and they're working with the the king and queen and so i've built like this like little cave section at the back and you know just the rough sort of outlining of it all and put the dragon in there for framing this is the the rock wall that will be against the sea part of the uh, of the port as it comes in and i just wanted to carry on the theme a little bit use use the black try and try and go back to the black and gold of the dragon knights um, and have this sort of hidden underneath a tower um, and I came up with the step idea that I liked and it was just sort of free free flowing from there I didn't really have a plan or a design I just started building something and I wanted to make it modular and I came up with this little next section which would be the the main like throne room doorway and it's just like a little tower using the hinge bricks to get that shape We've got a little throne and a fireplace in there, and a dragon's uh, stone head above the doorway, and then a little way of getting out into the, uh, to the to the battlements, and some snot steps up to go up the tower. And when you sit that in, it'll it'll just sit there nicely, but it'll still allow you to be able to lift it out and get at the. Uh, the bot the the uh, forge underneath that another little like side passage where down side of one of the dragons to get into the forge like a slightly hidden but i didn't want it to be too too secret because it's in the town and and then i needed to sort of add uh, floors to it and i didn't really have again any plan other than trying to use what i had i had a lot of these black one by two plates that I got off the picker brick walls and some of these one by one gold studs and I just started sticking them together and yeah came up with this design that um, I've not really seen a, a lot of it about before being used specifically like this and just thought it looked really cool effect you can build these little essentially one by three bricks worth of plates and gold studs I just really like the look of it and I haven't done any detailing in this yet because I really want to get other stuff built and then come back and, and add some detail in but yeah I just experimented with the steps and there's obviously another another floor and thought how, how high can we go so do we need another floor and do we you know how many floors do we need and I came up with adding um, another floor um, would be enough um, so it wouldn't be too overpowering, but stand sort of next to the royal keep, and it obviously needed some like either a roof or uh, some battlements. I wanted to keep that red colour as well from the um, the dragon knights. So I left some uh, snot brick uh, available to be used either for putting some more detail on later on, and then I came up with this dragon's head and then i'd seen a couple of things on rebrickable where they'd upscaled the dragon and i just thought i'll um i'll have a look at that see if i can just put the dragon's head um sort of at the top in black just to make it clear what it was that it belongs to the dragon knights and i just think it works really well it's it's different um it's almost like the the, the chimney 
can allow the smoke to come out of the dragon's mouth um, from the forge down below, from the dragon forge. So maybe I'll be able to do some sort of smoke effects um, out there. And then here it is actually in the position where it's going to live. Um, so you can see there it's butted up against the, uh, the, the, the wall of the harbour there. Um, it's sitting and pointing and forward. There's a lot going on. Um, I've got stuff everywhere at the moment as I try and work, work my way through um, building things. Yeah, I think it just looks really good. And the black against the white of the keep in the, in the distance helps. It just gives them like a presence within the town. Um, they'll be able to get into it from you know behind the sort of back wall there. And the the um, steps up into it. And I'll come up with some kind of, of story around it as well, just so that it kind of makes sense. But this is going to be like the, the, the bottom of the towns, uh, past where all the inns and shops and crafting stocks are going to be. And then another huge update is I've taken out the uh, Black Falcon's castle that was here. It's kind of in the way. I had mounted it all up and used a lot of bricks to lift it up just temporarily. And just wasn't happy with it. I'm not happy with the Sorceress Tower being in that position either, so that's going to get moved. So I'm on to the next structure. And this is just a little idea that I had that I've just started putting together. And essentially it's going to be a mountain and i'm trying to build the mountain a little bit first and then i'm going to put the uh, black falcon's castle into the mountain um, and i'm hoping to get this quite high as you can see i've got like an iron cage lift a bit of um you know a, of a take from the game of thrones the wall thing which i thought would be really good that we could have a, like a, a gatehouse at the front a stable an inn um, and then to get up to the keep and the ta lookout towers that would be built into the mountain, the only way up would be through this iron cage here. And I'm really liking just working on this with no real plan at all, just building it up. And it's probably going to fit to the back of the wall, which means I can leave um, the, underneath where this mountain is um, open. My plan there is to have some interchangeable uh, scenes inside the mountain slash dungeon that uh, we can use for um, a Lego Dungeons and Dragons. So, yeah, this is pretty much where I'm at. Um, as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff littering the layout, and I just want to get things built and tidied away and. Um, Get some more progress made and just do a bit more landscaping and, and really lock things in because i'm pretty happy with the layout of the town and i don't really want to start the houses and the streets and the shops and everything until I'm, i've got the sort of layout nailed down and then i can really start going into the details so yeah thanks thanks for watching this update and um i will see you on the next one with hopefully some more progress on my uh, mountain Black Falcon's scrape. See you soon.